Here is another Knoxville real estate market update for the month of October 2021 and we're getting started right now. Welcome back to All Things Knoxville with me, Ben Barreto, your local real estate pro and relocation expert for East Tennessee. Today we're going to discuss the most recent housing market data for the United States economy as well as the local data for Knoxville, Tennessee. In this video, we're going to cover the numbers for the month of October. But before we jump into that, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and then share this video with someone that may get a kick out of it or find this information helpful. It really helps out my channel and ultimately my business. I would really appreciate it. And of course, if you need a real estate agent for any reason, give me a call. My contact information is in the description. Now let's jump into the numbers starting with the U.S housing market statistic. Okay, so starting off, the national inventory of active listings declined by 22% over last year, while the total inventory of unsold homes, including pending listings or houses under contract, declined by 15%. The inventory of active listings is down 52% compared to 2019. Newly listed homes are down 2.3% nationally compared to a year ago and 5% for large metros over the past year. Sellers are still at rate, listing at rates about 12% lower than typical 2017 and 2019 levels. The October national median list price for active listings was $380,000, which is up about 9% compared to last year and up about 22% compared to 2019. In large metros, median listing prices grew by 5.2% compared to last year on average. Nationally, the typical home spent about 45 days on the market in October. That number is down eight days from the same time last year and 21 days from 2019. Before moving on to the Knoxville market data, I wanted to point you to my website at www.bendreamhomes.com. This website works just like Zillow, Redfin, Realtor.com, except it's only for the Knoxville and surrounding counties. The best thing about this website is I've got a lot of great information and resources strictly for relocating to Knoxville, Tennessee. So if you're looking to move to the area, this is a great website and resource for you. I've also got a blog that I try my best to update regularly, but the number one thing about it is you can easily communicate with me without worrying about sending your information to a hundred different agents that are all going to try to call you and bother you and beg you for your business. You can check out my website by going in the description and clicking on the link below or just Googling www.bendreamhomes.com and I'm sure I'll pop up. Now onto the Knoxville market. Let's talk new listings first. The number of new listings returned from an MLS record high for September to a more seasonal norm in October. Unfortunately, this also looks like we're headed for two months of decreased inventory during the holidays. The funny thing is a lot of people say the market slows down in the winter, which I'm guilty of saying, and in a lot of ways it does. However, statistically speaking, the number of buyers actively searching for homes online does not really change at all which means they're still looking for houses. What impacts us and what causes the slowdown is inventory drops significantly during the holidays, mostly due to people wanting to focus on family and you know their personal lives rather than having buyers walking through their house and kicking them out every few hours so they can check out the home. Still, if you need to sell, this is an opportunity of a lifetime as the competition is really low right now. Plus, you can dictate how showings work so they match your schedule. So you don't have to be bothered by showings during the holiday season. Things will pick right back up in January. So you have a small window of opportunity that is there for you to take advantage of. Let's talk about active listings. With fewer homes entering the market, the number of active listings immediately available to buyers has decreased as well for the first time since March of this year. Again, looking at history, I have much doubt that this number will move up again until January. 
Now let's talk about pending sales because October's pending sales hit a record high for any previous October. This proves that demand is still very strong. However, buyers typically cool off a little bit as we reach the end of the year, but because demand is still outpacing supply, homes will still be claimed likely at a record or near record pace for the time for this time of year. Now let's talk about closed units or, you know, basically sales, closed closed transactions. And the number of closed units was almost identical to October of 2020 with pending st- with pending sales still strong. I forecast strong closing numbers for November, although sales may stif- maybe stifled due to fewer homes being on the market. Months of supply is our next topic. Strong demand, seasonal inventory drops equals a drop in the months of supply. The first we've seen again since March. The trend seems to show that we should hold our ground through November, but may experience a larger bottleneck in December. Average sales price uh, is always a favorite topic. MLS record has been set with an average sales price for our area exceeding $350,000. This number is likely to continue moving in this upward direction as fewer homes are listed, which is again an indication that it's a good time for sellers to sell. So give me a call. Okay, now we're going to jump on average days on market. Right now we're sitting at an even 20 days on the market. Some sellers might be trying to take advantage of the market by overpricing a bit, but it's not enough to really slow anything down. On to showings. We had a drop in showings in October. That could mean November pendings will go down, which will affect December closings. But none of that is unexpected given the seasonal trends that we see in the past are likely to repeat themselves again this year. Well, hey, that's it for this real estate market update. Be sure to check out my website and also check out this video where I take you on a walking tour of Knoxville's downtown Market Square and Gage Street. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And hey, since I probably won't see you, happy Thanksgiving.